All right, uh, let's solve this uh, following initial value problem using power series method. All right, so uh, first uh, let's try to take care of this uh, uh, initial value conditions. All right, so remember that uh, a solution Y is uh, a power series. So it's going to look like a C0 plus C1X plus uh, C2X and so on, oh, sorry, C2x squared, and so on, All right? So if you look at the uh, y of 0, and y of 0 is actually, if you plug in 0, second term on, it's all 0, so all you get is a C0, All right? So y0 has to be equal to 2, so this actually tells you that the C0 has to be equal to 2, All right? Then if you look at the uh, y prime, which is going to be the derivative of that, so it's going to be c1 uh, plus uh, 2c2x plus uh, 3c3x squared, and so on. So if you uh, look at the y prime of 0, and all you get is a C1. And this is supposed to be equal to zero, right? So these two initial conditions gives you that uh, a value of C0 is equal to two, and the value of C1 is equal to zero. All right, so let's uh, work on the different equation. Uh, so power series method. So I'm gonna put the uh, power series, so Y double prime would be uh, summation uh, n goes from 2 to infinity, All right? So you have uh, n times uh, n minus 1 cn x to the n minus 2, All right? So minus uh, 4 times summation n goes from uh, 0 to infinity, and cn x to the n is equal to zero. All right, so what we want to do is we want to ch uh, turn x to the n minus two to x to the n. So what I'm going to do is instead of starting from two, I'm going to start him from zero. All right, so we're going to have a summation all right, n goes from zero to infinity, so that it matches with the other one. All right, so x to the uh, n minus two becomes x to the n. So I'm gonna pull out uh, x to the n right at the n. And what's left is going to be, all right, so remember that the, we're starting from zero instead of two. So we have to uh, increase the in, uh, indices by two. So n becomes n plus 2, and n minus 1 becomes n plus 1, and cn becomes cn plus 2. Then you have a negative 4cn. All right, so we have that, and this is equal to 0. All right. So we're going to set this guy equal to zero since the right hand side is zero, so all coefficients must be zero. So we can get this uh, following equation, all right? So you have, uh, we're going to keep uh, n plus two times uh, n plus one, uh, cn plus two. And I put this guy over to the other side. Uh, we're going to get um, uh, 4 cn. All right. So I'm going to divide through by uh, n plus 2 and n plus 1. Uh, we have this following uh, recursive equation. So cn plus 2 is equal to 4 over. All right, uh, n plus 2 and n plus 1 and a cn. All right, so we got that. 
All right, then uh, let's try to figure out uh, you know all the coefficients are. All right, uh, first thing is, all right. So since the c uh, one is equal to zero, so from c one is equal to zero, all right. And but here, uh, c n plus two. Uh, is equal to so for example n equals one so c3 is going to be whatever times the c1 so c3 once you know that the c1 is zero we know that the c3 is going to be zero so this is equal to c3 once the c3 is zero so two more c5 is going to be zero All right and you can see that the all the odd coefficients are zero so c and uh, c two n plus one and so on so these are all zeros all right so we just have to worry about the uh, even uh, even coefficients all right so let's do that all right according to this uh, let's look at the c2 all right uh, c2 is going to be equal to uh, four I'm going to write 4 as a 2 squared, all right? And uh, n equals 0, so it's a 2 times 1, all right? So 2 times 1, and then we have a c0, all right? And instead of 2 times 1, I probably should write it as uh, uh, 2 squared over uh, 2 factorial times c0. Right, so we got that. And how about the C4? So C4 is going to be right, a four, which is another two squared. All right, and the four times three and C2. All right, but the C2, we already know what it is. So I'm gonna plug this C2 uh, in here, All right? So what you get is going to be, you have C2 squared and another C squared. So it's, uh, sorry, two squared. So it's going to be two to the fourth power over uh, four times three times two times one. So you have four factorial, right? Then you have a C0, All right? Uh, we started to see the pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, so we follow the pattern. And you have a C2n is equal to, all right, so you have 2 to the fourth power, so it's going to be 2 to the 2n power over, all right, uh, index factorial. So index in this case is 2n factorial and C0. All right, so we got that. So therefore, we only have uh, even power terms. So this tells you that um, y is going to be summation n goes from 0 to infinity. All right, so c0 is just a constant, so I'm going to just put it in front. All right, then you have a 2 to the 2n over um, 2n factorial x to the 2n power, right? So I'm going to rewrite that a little bit here, right? C0, C0 is 2, so I'm going to actually put 2 there, right? You have a summation, and n goes from 0 to infinity, right? I'm going to combine 2 to the 2n and x to the 2n, uh, we can write it as a 2x to the 2n over a 2n factorial. All right, so remember that the power series for hyperbolic cosine of x is summation n goes from 0 to infinity. Then you have a x to the 2n power over uh, 2n factorial, all right? The only difference between this guy and that guy is we have 2x instead of just x. So therefore, we have the solution. y is going to be equal to, right, 2 is in front, 
right? This is hyperbolic cosine of 2x, all right? So that is the uh, solution of the initial value problem that's given here, all right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.